Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm looking at my SetApp subscription. I know what you're thinking, another subscription. Subscriptions are everywhere. Streaming services, printer ink, and even car features. It can feel like a lot of apps are moving to a subscription model. But after using SetApp for a few years now, I thought I'd share my top 10 must-have apps on SetApp that I use on a regular basis. By the end, you have everything you need to decide if SetApp fits into your life with another subscription. Let's get started. There was a time when I was using Obsidian to edit my scripts, but I was constantly bouncing between my Mac, iPhone and iPad that Obsidian was struggling to keep up my scripts updated across different devices. I also needed something that worked offline because being disconnected on the underground used to bring everything to a halt. I found Craft and it felt like everything clicked. It syncs between all my devices so that scripts are always ready to be edited when I needed them. Even offline, I can keep editing and its AI tools help me brainstorm fresh ideas in a second. Since using Craft, I've become faster and more organized and even more creative. I don't stress about where my scripts are, instead focusing on editing them. Gmail is great. But when I go back to my old email accounts, my inbox gets out of control. I had multiple email accounts and keeping them updated was exhausting. Then I found Spark Mail and things got a whole lot easier. I set up swipe gestures to move emails into folders in seconds, which helped me tidy up my inbox faster. It worked with all my accounts so I could manage everything in one spot. On busy days, the AI response tool saved me time by helping me draft quick, polished emails that I can update and send out. Now my inbox doesn't stress me out. I spend way less time sorting and more time focusing on the work that matters. Sparkmail did not just organize my email, it simplified the whole process. If you ever juggled receipts, forms, and contracts, you'll know how frustrating it is to create and organize PDFs. Nitro PDF makes everything much more easier. Tats time means scrambling together papers and getting them scanned into one clean PDF file. Nitro PDF lets me rearrange pages, compress file sizes, and get everything organized perfectly without getting stressed. Even if you're not tech savvy, the design is so simple to use and there have been occasions where Mac previews let me down but I managed to resolve the issue with Nitro PDF. The result? You save hours and feel way less stressed. I get big ideas all the time, but when I break it down, my thoughts get jumbled. It feels impossible to organize them. That's where MindNode stepped in and changed the game for me as a visual thinker. If I had a YouTube idea, but my brain felt like a crowded whiteboard, I needed a way to make sense of it fast. With MindNode, I've started creating a mind map, laying all my ideas on a simple branches. And the best bit is I can continue to do this on the go as it is synced with the iPhone. Whether I was on the couch or in line at a coffee shop, I could tweak my ideas. Connecting thoughts, adding notes, or rearranging branches was so simple. Once I'm done, I switch to outline mode and export it to Markdown into Obsidian for future research. And the result, my scattered ideas became clear structured plan in minutes. Having everything synced across many of the devices I have made it easy to stay productive no matter where I am. I used to dread taking screenshots or recording my screen using Mac OS X. I always forget the shortcut when I needed it. When I tried tools to replace it, I found they were slow, clunky, and just made everything harder than it needed to be. Then I found CleanShot, and honestly, it's one of the most often used apps that I have. It sits right there in my menu bar, ready whenever I need it. With one click, I can snap a screenshot or start recording. Even better, it has built-in tools to mark up images or trim videos, so I don't need to juggle multiple apps. Now I can grab content faster and make it look polished without worrying about the shortcut keys. Whether I'm working on a detailed tutorial or sharing a quick idea, CleanShot keeps everything simple and saves me time. If you found this video useful, please press like so I know to make more. I spend way too much time managing files, moving them between folders, compressing them, or hunting them down across devices. That's when I discovered DropZone, and it was exactly what I needed. It sits right in my menu bar, and with a quick drag and drop, I can move files between folders or even send them to my Mac and iPad. Bulk actions like compressing files or shortening URLs are just as easy. The best part, I can tweak it to fit my needs, even creating my own shortcuts using simple scripts. Now things that used to drag on for minutes are done in seconds. 
My workflow feels smooth and I've cut out so much frustration whether I'm hiding files to use later or downloading a video with just a URL. Drop Zone keeps everything simple and stress-free. I never realized how much time I wasted copying and pasting until I started using Paste. It's one of those apps you don't know you need until you try it. Before Paste, I copy text, links, or images and lose track of what I already saved. Switching between apps to recopy things was a constant hassle. I needed a better way to keep everything organized and ready to use. Paste solved that problem instantly. It keeps everything I copy in one place. Text, links, images, you name it. The timeline is clear so I can see previews of what I copied and grab it again anytime. No more guessing, no more wasted time. Plus, searching through my clipboard history takes seconds, which makes juggling tasks way more easier. I used to struggle with my Mac, running slow and running out of storage at the worst possible times. Updating apps, uninstalling old ones and worrying about malware felt like a full-time job. It was frustrating. That's when I found Clean My Mac. And honestly, it's been a game changer. With one click, it scanned my system and found gigabytes of junk files I didn't even know were there old caches and duplicate files. It also made updating apps simple and helped me safely uninstall the ones just taking up space. The malware detection gave me a peace of mind and the whole thing was easy to use. Now my Mac feels faster and lighter. I don't worry about running out of storage or digging around outdated files. I'm a fan of the Pomodoro technique since my focus gets all over the place. I start one task, get distracted, and suddenly find myself doing something totally unrelated. By the end of the day, I had no idea where my time went, and my productivity was going nowhere. That's when I started using Be Focused. It's a simple app built around the Pomodoro technique, which breaks your work down into 25 minute sessions with short breaks in between. I started planning my day in the app, setting up specific tasks for each session and tracking how much time I spent on everything. Seeing a report of where my time went made a huge difference. It gave me a lot more clarity and it made me make adjustments to get better results. Now I finish tasks faster and feel more accomplished at the end of the day. Staying on top of my schedule used to feel like a never ending battle. I jumped between apps to check reminders, track events and figure out my day. It left me feeling overwhelmed and felt like I was constantly missing something important. I needed a tool that could pull everything together one place for my calendar and reminders that's quick and easy to access and check. That's when I found BusyCal. Just like many of the other apps I talked about, it can be found on the menu bar and I glance at my day's plan without opening everything. My events and tasks sync perfectly and the clean layout makes it simple to see what exactly is next. Set app has some great apps to explore and try out. Each time I have an issue to solve, I can usually find an app in my setup subscription. I think the monthly subscription adds a lot of value for me and I can support the developers of these apps. Is there any apps I've missed or is there one you can recommend? Let me know in the comments below. If you're interested in these types of videos and want more techniques, tools and tips for your workflow, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.